Hi, this is Marina from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for tracking my scrappy life where I do week number nine in my bullet journaling. And so I do have a little bit of a different setup. Sorry that it's a tad bit dark on that one side, but I am at my friend's house um, scrapping Amy. That's what she is on Facebook and one mama scrapper on um YouTube and we had a scrappy weekend so this is the reason why this wasn't up on Sunday was I decided to film this after I got to her house on Friday due to the fact that I was so busy trying to get ready to be on this trip that I had to work and you know all that fun stuff so what I did was is that I took my March kit that I got from Catherine Pooler and I'll link my 10% off link. It's for like referral of a friend. If you um, want to save 10% off of your first order, because I referred you, you get 10% off. And I'll leave that link down below. Again, I'm like I say any other time, I am not like an affiliate with um, Catherine Pooler, but I do order their products and I do love their products. Almost everything that I am using here is from her collection outside of the markers and the stamps that I use. I am tracing the mood board. It's a Celtic style tree that has like roots and all of this and she, somebody on her design team made this and in the leaf, because I don't have it fully on the screen, but with it being on the screen there is enough leaves that if you truly wanted to you could do the mood like your mood tracker with this so it's an option of that but I decide to only do half of this particular stencil and I'm tracing it right now and I do have this only at like two times the speed because this layout or this spread I should say didn't even take me long I think it took me like all in all if I wasn't talking as much as I was with um, Amy, I think I probably would have gotten this done in like 15, 20 minutes, but it took me a while because we had to find stuff and then I was quiet and you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just showing you that I'm tracing and then it's done and I colored. So that's what the tree looks like. And then I also did my green, so now I'm using greens. So then I did my little um, monthly thing in the corner there. And now I am taking out an old set of stamps, not sure where, um, I think they were Studio 49. I think they were um, Amy's stamp. The one thing I love about going to a friend's house that have the same interests as you is to use their product as well. I mean, of course I brought my own stuff as you can tell. And I brought, you know, my filming stuff to be able to film and all of that jazz. But I was like, I was like in that like scrap ha haven. Her area is just amazing. I love all the, it was just so comey. And, and when I sat down, we sat right next to each other because that's how she has her room set up with the two different desks. She has like this, the, the Alex set up with the, the desk and then the two little drawers underneath to make it set up. It's just, I just loved it. It was so cozy and warmy in there and we were talking and throughout the weekend and then a good friend of ours, another one, Dolly, that she also has a YouTube channel as well. She came over on Saturday um, right away in the morning and we scrapped like all day. We did go to Tuesday morning as well and um, just, you know, hung out and we went out to eat and we just had, we had a really good time. I enjoyed myself there over the weekend. And so this was one of three videos I filmed. So in the month of March, you'll see the other two. So when you see that I have a different setup on a couple of them, that's why, and I'll mention it too, of course. So again, I am sorry for a little bit of it being dark, but I was still able to film. I've never filmed somewhere else before. I've always just left it. But because of what I'm doing in March, I needed to film <laughs> some of these layouts I was making. And Amy and I went live as well on Saturday morning, so I was super excited about that. We both were on the same, um, we were on the same live together. We had the exact same kit and we did the exact same photo and all that. So it was a lot of fun. So back to the layout. 
what I did was on the corner there I went and did one of my older style of like one of my very first ones I did and I put my numbers down and I got out this movie stamp set that Katherine Pooler has and I'm going to do Netflix I did not know I struggled with this side because I've got this book set up to where I would do a two page spread but here's my problem I didn't know what I was going to do on this page. I was getting bored of placing my bills down because I already know what my bills are. YouTube wasn't really, you know, I was doing YouTube, but I wasn't. And I do know that, I, of course, I do have to link my, like, make a little block about on the 1st of March for my tracker of subscribers and everything, but I can do that inside the spread that's the problem I'm having is is that I love my I love my notebook but I'm getting like bored with it on making the layout so what I decided to do was to make my next Netflix tracker I will like add a little bit of something on my bullet journaling like on my combo to like get me to remember that oh yep that's where my tracker is for Netflix and it's just I watch a lot of things on Netflix. I don't have regular cable TV anymore I use Netflix so when in Hulu so when my channel or my series comes out and it's done I Go on there and binge watch it and that's what this is for I'm going to like color it in and When I get done with a series, I'm gonna mark it off and that's what my goal is the still shots obviously are coming up I am using the popcorn spot that's on there and these little stamps that you see me using are popcorn, little popcorns that I'm just placing everywhere just wherever I feel. I'm dabbing it twice so I'm giving it a little bit of a shadow. And then I do put the word Netflix on there and then that's pretty much it. So make sure that if you haven't subscribed and you like my bullet journaling, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I do obviously have other products and I do other layouts and that stuff. I have traveler's notebooks. I do 12 by 12 layouts. I do eight and a half by 11. All of, you know, all of that jazz. And then I am pretty much done. I think I go back and I do, I thumb around and then I'm like oh Netflix so that's what I did I get out my um, ink from close to my heart and I do Netflix and then I am done so you will see the still shots coming up and I will talk to you soon bye